Hi guys, thanks for clicking on this video. Today we are gonna do an ombre um, board, welcome sign, using three colors. And this is what it's gonna look like. And it's gonna be black, orange, and purple. I'm just gonna do it on this other side so we can show you. And then I'll go ahead and put uh, Happy Halloween or Trick or Treat. And I also have like a haunted house that I can use. So we're gonna do that now using spray paint and I will link everything I'm using in the video down below. I'm gonna step aside to put on my mask and then we'll get started. All right, I'm just putting on my mask. You'll still be able to hear me. I sound a little muffled. But since I'm spray paint, spray painting a lot, I'm gonna put this mask on so it can get through that. Okay, so black, orange, purple. Got my little box here. The red is good, it's no end at all. And I'm just going to do a spritz motion back and forth on the top half. You don't want to do too much because it'll start to bleed. You can always go back. If Give it some time to dry. Now I'm using my orange, my gloss pumpkin orange. And I'm overlapping it. And that's so we can um, have that ombre blended effect. Okay. Now I'm going to do the purple. And I'm going to go back in with the orange over the purple. Now the black. And you can hit it in areas that you think this be like first if you do. I think it looks pretty faded. All right, guys, I like that. So I'm going to let it dry and then we will do the decal. Okay, guys, so here is my board black, orange, purple. This is how it came out. That was the other side. Um, I'm particularly I'm gonna use this side because I ended up going with this image. I did purchase it off of Etsy. I'll link, uh, link it down below. This is the haunted house. So since this is black, I'm gonna go ahead and put it here. So I can probably place it there. And I'm probably not gonna put a bow on this. I'll probably just do the Happy Halloween. Well, that's what I am going to do. So, I'll do that. It might go over a little bit. But I think it's going to be just right. So, as I told y'all before, I use the press and seal. 
to uh, basically lay down, take this image and transfer it onto the board. You can use um, transfer tape for the spray paint. The reason why I use this is I don't want to pull up the paint like when I use the, um, the chalk paint or the vinyl paint. Not vinyl, yeah, vinyl paint. I mean acrylic paint. I'm sorry. I don't want to use that because, um, like I said, I don't want to the fear of taking my paint off because that did happen before. So I used the press and seal. So I'm just gonna smooth that on. Hopefully it works great today. You can always do a test piece um, with your transfer tape. This is strong, so that probably would take it off the paint. Um, but you can always do a test piece on the back. And this stuff will come off easily too uh, based on the vinyl you're using as well. Let me know in the comments if you did try this and if it was easy for you or you're just using regular um, transfer tape. how that ombre came out. I think it's going to be really nice. And we'll do everything else the same. Minus the bow. I did use my silhouette to cut out this image. And it seems to be coming out really, really good. I see something right there. I think that's the moon, right? Let's give it a little bit. Give it a little burnish. And I want to get those bats. I chose this one because um, I love bats. We have a bat cave close by up the road. They're under the bridge actually, and they're the Mexican tail bats. I love it. They come out about 7:30 over here, 7:38. People watch them. Not so much right now, but I love them. I love to see them. I never get tired of it. There's my little bat friend. Don't get on my finger. Okay. So yeah, that came out pretty good. Don't come on my finger. You know what? Just put it on your little paper, on your backing, and I'll just add them. That's fine. I'll just add him once I get it on here. So this said, I'm gonna let it fade down into the black. Oh, this is gonna be nice. a little bit because of the the punk in there you can pull it up a few times probably could have come up more with the orange but I think we're good right there I'm just eyeballing it move my fingers that is good Burnisher again. I mean, you could probably add more things if you want it, like a little black cat. Um, the other one I was going to choose from had the black cat, it had the witch. But like I said, the bats had me sold. And this is a beautiful night sky, those colors. It's very Halloween. 
I already did seal this to the board with the uh, lacquer before I did this. I took a total um, of the uh, spray paint, probably like 20 minutes to dry, and then I sprayed the lacquer and while I was cutting this image, um, it was dry after I was done. But I did cut this and I did cut the um, Happy Halloween. You wanna get out any wrinkles, try to get them out while you're placing this on. I'm gonna have some bubbles sometimes, but just smooth them out. And as I said, it's only good for one use. Just a trusty seal, so I'll discard that. I like it, I like it. You could do um, paints too, or the acrylic paints with um, stencil vinyl or the removable vinyl. You would just um, take everything else out instead of this image or then everything around it and lay it down like a stencil and paint in it. Where's my other little bat? There he is. Let's see where I'm gonna put him. Hi. Hi right there. Okay, so look. I love it. So happy Halloween probably put right there because then it'll cover up there. So I'll put it down here. That'll fit. Yeah. Probably cut off some of the end, but I'm okay with that because that's just the curly part. So let's do that. Get another piece. Those white so that'll pop on that dark colors. this was. Okay. So we say right here, I can probably get the whole thing in there, probably go over the That I just want to curl.
this one spot and smooth out. All right, I like that. It went over his mouth a little, but I think it still looks good. So then we'll go ahead and put our tie in the back and we'll use our stapler, heavy duty. And I always fold it over three times. Get my stapler. I do it at least three times as well. And if they have a glass door, we're going to see that pretty, pretty side or back side. All right, guys. Happy Halloween. And this is the ombre using spray paint. Thanks for watching. Let me know again um, if you have any questions and if the press and sew is working good for you. Happy Halloween.